armored pants here and I have another video for you on the German line the tier 5 the leopard light tank and this is the first tank that you will have come across in the German line so we're gonna have a look at the tech spec and as always we'll use blitzhanger.com as I said this is the first light tank that we have come across in the German line and therefore it needs to be played slightly different light tanks have a different uh, playing style now we look at the tank itself and um, let's load up the provisions here um, and the equipment this tank only has a 30 millimeter gun but it has a good pen on that 30 millimeter you can see there 95 on the AP 110 on the um, uh, APC or um, as always though to get that pen up we will use supercharge and refined gun and we will use the gun rammer to get the magazine reload down uh, this has a magazine it's the first magazine you will come across in the German tank line too so a tip for you if you haven't used a magazine or an auto loader before if you fire off two of the shells or three of the shells in the magazine and want a full reload um, normally people think about firing off the rest of the clip you don't need to do that you need to open up the ammunition selector double tap on one of the shells and it will reload that shell automatically without wasting the ammunition now this tank does uh, 60 kilometers an hour it is lightning fast it is agile nimble quick and there's nothing quite like it in tier 5 indeed before update 5.5 it is arguable that this tank was the most lethal tank in tier 5 it just shredded the enemy and um, it's not quite as good since but still nonetheless a decent tank now it does have a little bit of frontal armor and um, uh, despite being a light tank because light tanks usually have no armor and this tank will get you some surprising bounces especially because of the sloped armor and the angles it presents when you are moving at very high speed in this tank and this tank moves a lightning quick you will get some bounces off the front of it you will even get some bounces and misses off the sides just because um, it's difficult to aim at when you're going at full speed however because you're a light tank you will be a he magnet especially when up tiered the big guns there love nothing better than putting a massive he round into a little tank like this and if you're up tiered you can be one shotted by a kv2 by a su 100 y by an su 100 and even things with 85 millimeter guns will pen you because look at your butt it is virtually defenseless and your butt is a KV-2's favorite meal. One shot from a 152mm KV-2 HE shell will kill you. It doesn't matter even if you're at full hit points. And this is something you need to be aware of if you're up tiered. You can be one shot it. And this is one of the reasons why moving from up from tier 4 to tier 5 is such a big jump. Because eventually in tier 5 you will be up tiered to tier 6. And there are tanks there that can kill you with one shot. As you're a light tank and moving fast on the map you can get yourself into trouble and in front of these tanks now looking at the modules you see that they are exposed this tank is notoriously uh, famous for being tracked so therefore you need two repair kits because if you're tracked um, and you don't have a repair kit you are a sitting duck and something will put a big round into you and damage you or even kill you so run to repair modules as i said as it's a light tank you will move around the map very quickly so you need to get out there and spot that is what a light tank does your job is to spot the enemy if you're not doing that you're not doing your job so you need to get out in front don't do it recklessly use cover you need to know the maps you're playing on get out there get up onto high places use soft cover and spot the enemy use your active camo numbers Use the fact that your camouflage is active when you're moving, unlike any other tank type. Um, use the fact that you have better view range and that your camo numbers are better than other tanks. Get out there, get up in front, use soft cover and spot the enemy. Because when you spot them, that is relayed to your allies and then they know where they are. They don't know where you are and you have a significant, huge advantage that will probably win you the game. If you do not do that, you sit behind, you follow the heavies, you are not doing your job and you will probably lose the game. Now there is a big difference between spotting and going YOLO, you only live once, driving out into the open, um, not using camouflage, getting spotted up and getting smashed by seven uh, enemy tanks, dying very quickly. 
Spotting is being intelligent, using cover the natural inclines and declines of the map to get out and to use your camo numbers to uh, spot the enemy and stay safe. Now, before we go into gameplay, I have something else I want you to do with this tank. Um, let's open up the game itself, uh, look at one of my leopards here, one of my accounts. Let's look at the equipment I load out, the provisions and the ammunition, so you can have a look at it. And now I want you to do something, look what I do here. If you have never done this before, I'm going to show you how we are going to open up a training room. And we are going to open up a training room, room, room for the leopard, so let's call it the Leo. Um, and we are going to select um, a map here, let's say Dead Rail, because a map I quite like. And uh, let's check that and let's create a room and let's go into that room. Now why are we doing this armoured? We are doing this for a very good reason because this tank, as I said, is the first light tank you will have driven. You have not um, played anything like this before in Blitz and it is very different it is very difficult to control if you are not experienced so you need to practice playing with this tank before you go into battle because this tank because it's so fast accelerates so quickly is more difficult to master and i have seen so many times in games guys who are playing their first few games in the leopard driving into rocks houses um, they zoom in, they drive into something, they track themselves, they drive off a hill at, for, at top speed, they actually track and damage themselves. Um, and you therefore need to practice playing and driving it. Look at this tank, it actually does power slides, look at that. No other tank type does that. Just look at this tank in action. Now can you imagine though, if you, I did this on purpose of course, but can you imagine if you're actually in a battle and you're coming up on something, you're trying to turn to shoot at it and you power slide. Next thing you presented your backside to him and he just puts a HE around you, game over. So please, if you're playing the Leopard for the first time, resist the temptation to take it out onto the battlefield and actually go into the training room and drive it around for a while, just get familiar with it. Now, as I said, my job is to spot, so I am going to go and spot the enemy here. I'm going to use the speed of this tank to get out in front, spot up the enemy, relay those positions to my allies and give my team a huge advantage now i am going hell for letter here down this left hand side of the rail tracks to see who i can spot i'm going past uh, the first building and there my view range spots up those guys now i am going around here i'm into dead man's land but i know there's nobody nobody could possibly get there before me because my tank is so fast look at this i spot up two more guys they are in all sorts of disarray. Spot up another one here, look at this. Put some rounds into him, make him miss. Now I've spotted up a huge number of the enemy. Um, I've kept myself safe using the speed of my tank to avoid get myself getting into trouble. It seems like you may be putting yourself in danger in this tank, but because it's so fast, because it presents such a difficult target, I am actually um, remaining relatively safe. This little guy has had enough. Because you see here, if you put a full magazine into something on this, it does a huge amount of damage. It used to be 4.5, by the way, do over um, 300 damage per magazine. Now it does between 220 and 250, but it's still significant for tier 5. Um, you will see there, by the way, shot selection. I used part of the clip to take out the first guy and put the second clip into the second guy so I didn't waste any of the shots in the clip. Um, there you see how much damage that one clip can do to a tank. Now I can just finish him off. Um, now uh, KV-1 is coming here. I decide um, I could engage him, which is why I switch up to APC or you need that to pen a KV-1 with this tank. But then I decide, nope, he's so slow, I can actually leave him there and I can go and clean up these three reds over here. So I go around, now you see what I mean about how difficult it can be, even me who's played thousands of games in this tank drove into a wall. Um, so no shame in that, and that's why I said recommend to you guys to use the training room. You see there I double tap the shell icon to get a full reload, and here we go, and this is about target selection. I want to clear that Hetzer, I do not want to face two guns, that's why I fired into him rather than into the Stug. The Stug has decided, even though it is such an agile tank, I do not want to get into a brawl with this Leopard because it is the most agile tank in tier 5. 
and there is no escape when a leopard hunts because even though the stug is extremely fast there is no escaping this uh, this animal this leopard this um, female carnivore she gobbles up her prey here's my next victim it is a big wildebeest of a KD but he has no chance against the agility of this cat this feline predator is just lethal look he is like he's moving in slow motion and I can just take my time move around him circle of death him and he has no chance if you get stuck out in the opening of KV1 and a leopard comes along and the guy playing it knows what he's doing you are dead and um, there we go mastery badge um, just uh, 17 1.75 uh, K uh, 1 of damage not huge um, but I got a lot of XP for spotting up the enemy there and that's really what got the um, the mastery badge for me there um, because um, normally you would require over 2k damage to get a mastery badge and leopard but with all the spotting XP that's what uh, pushed me over I also got top gun high caliber and the scout medal is what uh, I think earned the uh, extra XP for the mastery badge there by the way before 5.5 you used to have to do something approaching 3k of damage in a leopard to get a mastery badge that just shows you how much it's been nerfed since that um, update um, and they've really pulled the claws of this cat but still nonetheless it is a decent enough tank and one you will enjoy playing and if you have just joined blitz and haven't played before 5.5 well that makes no difference to you because it is what it is now now this is a typical german light tank it's amazingly fast and it's very typical of the tanks that follow with the vk28 the uh, sp1c and the ru uh, 251 only 30 millimeter gun but great alpha rolls as you saw in that game you can put a lot of damage in you need to use supercharged and refined gun especially if you later on in the game are left on your own need to fire from distance you will need that supercharged to increase the muzzle velocity um, and then it will pen, pen from distance if required although it is not the usual way to play this tank this leopard hunts up close and personal gets in your face goes around you comes up behind you and unloads a full clip into you its top speed is awesome there is no map that this cannot handle there is no terrain it will go up any hill it will go down anything um, and it you know and it needs that because it is a light tank so it is spot 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 and as it's a leopard and um, the spots will should be something that should be easy to remember if you are not spotting you are not doing your job in this tank it's as simple as that you need to be spotting um, next in line uh, on this tank line is the VK2801 which is an amazing tank but please take your time getting there play with this leopard learn how to play a light tank well learn how to spot learn how to move around the map spotting but keeping safe and then when you're ready move up to the VK which is an amazing tank but the leopard itself is fantastic and a tank which will give you lots of fun thanks for watching cheers much I hope you enjoyed it pants out